morning. I actually enjoyed getting ready today because our bathroom is done. It feels so nice, but I did some organizing. Um, I did just getting ready skincare, like makeup removal kind of stuff over here. And in this drawer, it's just all hair care, like all the hair products, brushes, um, my Moroccan oil. And then down here are like tools and things that I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis and like my makeup that I haven't put out because now I just have all of my makeup up here. And I used my new foundation this morning, the Lady Gaga one. I really kind of love it. It makes my skin look really like soft and natural looking, which I really like. I'll link it down below for you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna sit here and do some computer work. One of the reasons why my video yesterday was delayed by like 24 hours is because my external hard drive that I've had for years like completely glitched out and yeah, it was like this whole thing. Those are not cheap. So this bad boy has been with me for so long but I had to buy a new one and they just delivered it this morning. Um, so I've got that, but it's like kind of sad. And then this morning, my freaking big tripod broke. So I'm like, what is with all of my stuff collapsing? It all tends to happen at the same time. Am I wrong? But there's like um, a lifespan to these things. So yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna have to buy a new tripod. I think I need to sit here and budget too because I have been just going crazy with the home improvement stuff and those things can definitely rack up. I also have a bill that I've got to pay like just like the boring tasks I've got to do today. So I've just created a new budget for myself using Mint, which I've done before. I just never kept up with it after the chaos of last year. So this is great because I can just go through my transactions and kind of just allocate them to specific things. But I made the categories super broad um, before I was very detailed and it just took so much of my time. I really don't have that right now. So we have like our income, I have gas, fuel, mobile phone, like all that stuff, mortgage. But the fun new categories are like home furnishing home improvement which i realized i've spent so much money this month so no more spending there um babysitter bubby like just things that i never would have thought mortgage but sitting down and doing this made my life i don't know like you have to budget it's just so easy to like swipe the cards and then you're like what the where did my money go is something to keep in mind do your budgeting in january because once the year starts it just gets harder and harder so i knocked out some things today like I found Bryson a pediatrician, did the budgeting, went through my emails, like I feel solid. I can't wait to get my desk. My desk is coming next week, which is super exciting. On Tuesday. Eesh. We're in the sunroom. I'm like debating whether or not I want to do the tan tile, which I showed you guys before. But I feel like if we're doing that, that's gonna be like a whole process and it won't happen so fast. Or do we do the vinyl plank flooring and just do it on top? And this is gonna go throughout anything that has carpet right now, anything that's not like the real wood. So it'll go through the kitchen, the dining room, the laundry room. But if we were to do tile, it would just be this room and it would stop here. This is the flooring that we've chosen. I think it would look good in the sunroom, but Xander's pro tile. so. Comment down below. I don't know. I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. I don't know. We also got our curtain swatches the other day. So we're gonna do curtains down here. They're gonna be so cool. They're like upscale, but they're from Amazon. And they're like Alexa wired, so they can like close on their own and open on their own. So pretty cool. So this was the original color that I wanted. It's called Chocolate Tart. And it's darker, but I kind of love that. I don't know. Think about it. Drape, 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 drape. Should we do gray, white? I don't want to do white. because I feel like the furniture is going to be super light. So I want like dramatic, dark tones in the corners. So this is what the colors would look like together. And then imagine like lighter furniture and then the giant windows of like nature and greenery and woodsy toned. I think that looks pretty good, I must say. But I gotta see first. Also, look how beautiful the living room is when the sun is beaming through. It's actually stunning. Yes, we still have our Christmas tree, ignore. I cannot wait to do this room because the light is just beautiful. That's gonna be so nice. But patience, 
vacations. We've just turned this into a little home questionnaire, but I was doing some research this morning about people taking IKEA kitchens and making them like a designer look. The kitchen's gonna be a big price tag, but if we were to do like IKEA cabinetry on the bottom, because we have Bryson like, I don't know, I just feel like it's, He's gonna be in and out of here and we're gonna live in the kitchen. So like, I don't wanna pay for these like custom build style kitchens and then just like destroy it because we're in and out all the time. And I think Ikea cabinetry is good quality. It's just like the basic part of it is like, I think what people don't like, like the lack of customization, but you can make it a more designer look. I've like done some research and people have done that and it looks really good. Like. If I were to splurge on anything, it would be like the granite. So if I were to just do IKEA bottom pieces, maybe do a different color than they have and paint them ourselves, I don't know. Is it worth it? Do you guys have IKEA kitchens? I know I'm probably gonna do the IKEA closet. That'll be another fun project down the line, but yeah, I don't know. Just thinking this morning. Let's talk fourth wing. If you are currently reading or you're going to read, just skip past this. I'll have timestamps down below. I don't know why, but I, from the minute Satan was introduced in the book, I liked him. <laughs> she described him as beautiful. I'm at the point where she's like fighting him, like on the mat or whatever. There's like a sexual tension. There is, I mean, I, I Dane, not doing it for me. There's something about like a bad guy being nice to you or like liking you if that makes any sense like even in Gilmore Girls there's like team Dean there's team Jess there's team Logan and I have always been team Jess I they're like I don't know I can see through them I think a lot of like bad boys there's like pain behind it and there's like a story and they're not boring but they're also super toxic at the same time but I've always just been gravitated towards like the bad people like the bad guys but Xander by the way is a really good guy I've done great with him not in real life just like in books and like stories and stuff but there's something about me that I think that they're gonna end up together there's like certain words in the book like when she's calling him beautiful she's like keeps calling him an asshole and they're having like this weird tension even when they're like dueling she's like oh my thighs are pressed up against his chest and like I can feel him breathing like just like sexual innuendos and I think her in the beginning i noticed she listened and followed the advice of zayden and not dane when it came to i think the guy's name was jack like the bad guy and that just shows me like where her mindset is <laughs> and so uh, it's getting super like it, the tension between them is getting pretty intense and i just have a feeling that they're gonna end up together so i'm gonna continue reading this is really good it's like harry potter but like dark and hunger games kind of mixed in there eh, not really it's not necessarily at least for what I'm reading right now, not as governmenty and like about the society as it is about the school, which I really like. It's just a really, really dark Harry Potter. It's good. Like there's a reason why people are talking about this. It's not one of those like viral TikTok books that are so dumb. Like it's actually a really good book. Good morning, happy Friday. We are actually at the aquarium today. I'm taking Bryson on a little mommy sun date i'm really excited but can we just talk about fourth wing real quick i was reading all day yesterday again i will leave a timestamp if you don't want to know anything but oh my god it is getting so good i'm like sitting there reading and i'm like oh my and i wish i had someone to talk to about this i'm like sitting there telling xander about it he's like I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm like, a feather tail, this is like so good. If I didn't have a baby, I'd just like devour that book in a day, but I'm so busy. Still just like reading every chance that I get and especially at night. That is literally such a good book. Like it's not all talk. I'm very adamant about like the viral popular books because they just, just don't do it for me. Like I'll f f finish the book and I'm like, okay, I don't like what? Or there's like some sort of like hidden political meaning or like this is a good, solid book if you want a book that's gonna get you back into reading that you just can't put down like i'm not honestly watching any tv at all or scrolling online i'm literally just any chance that i get i'm reading the book it is 
that good. It's like you're diving into this whole fantasy world and you're kind of losing track of reality, but it's so intense. It's a little gory at times. It's drama filled. It has like romance and sexiness to it. Like you're just engulfed in this, this world. And it's really, really cool. Cause I haven't felt like this since reading Harry Potter. Like it's, it's totally like way darker than Harry Potter, but it's the same feeling you get when you're reading Harry Potter. Like you're just like engulfed in this world. I, I just, oh my God, it is, it's so good. Anyway, I gotta wake this boy up so that we can go look at some fish. So you change that switch. Can you turn it on? No. Can you turn it off? I think we should have turn it off. Can you make it pretty? No, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna be quality control. First thing is to turn off the breaker. Ah, should I go do that now? Ha ha, ha 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 ha. Zap. <laughs> We've been slowly transitioning all of the light switch covers to these. Yeah, this is like a four switch outlet, so. Breaker's off. I just got this unscrewed from the wall, but there's like wiring that's involved that I don't understand. Well, I've done one of these, so. Yeah, I mean, when you turn on the light in the room, it enables the electrical current to go through, you know, this bolt and wire. When you turn it off, it flows through the grounded or neutral cable, which is the black one. So we basically have to switch these two wires to the other one? Yep. Oh. So wherever we want the up position to be on that one, we're gonna have to connect the red switch and you know, the off position will be the black switch. That seems relatively easy. So, here we go, the top and the bottom. Aha, I get it. Should I try? Yeah. Aha. Okay, so I've replaced every single one. They're all facing the right way because the logo's on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna get Z to check my work. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Good Looks, job. Really? Yeah. This looks good. All right, moment of truth. Can you put on the breaker and see if it works? This light is gonna turn on. Moment of truth. Hey, we got it. Is it on? Oh. Yay, I did it. That looks so much better. Oh yeah, our fan. Where's the remote? Right here. It usually does that weird bouncing thing, yep. That is one sick fan. Yeah. And I only say that because I installed it. He did install it. Good morning. So today we are going to be building our board and batten wall in our bedroom right behind our bed. We have pretty much all the supplies. We just need to get a few more things like the paint, which we chose this really dark green color called Never Green. I'm really stoked for it. So we have to get supplies for that. We also have a nail gun, but it only came with the gun itself. So we need to get the tools that are needed for that to even work. We need to get the nails. And then I think that's it. We're gonna be using the miter saw and I'm honestly, nervous slash excited slash I'm kind of ready like my expectations are kind of low to like fumble across some like painful moments today <laughs> so I'm like mentally prepared but I'm excited because I have Xander which is like awesome um it's hard to do these home projects alone so we have him for the next two days even if it doesn't work out today I think we can at least finish it by tomorrow very exciting stuff I think too I just want to shout out these are not Uggs these are from Altered State and they're like the Ugg dupes but they literally look just like the Ugg. I wanted Uggs for Christmas, didn't get them. So I'm like, I want the dupes because I don't really like buying trendy stuff because they're gonna be out and like everyone wears them. So it's like not worth the price to me, but obsessed with these. 
Well, Bryson was a hit. Bryson was one happy boy in there. But we ended up getting a totally new drill gun. What do you call it? Nail gun. Nail gun, because ours it was just bad. Don't buy it on Amazon. I recommend going to somewhere where someone can explain it to you because you needed a he compression said, he said, thing. Yeah, you said we were gonna need an air compressor. Like, just like, no. it's weird things Maybe that I've never. Hose. I thought you just put, honestly, this sounds really dumb, but I thought you just plugged it into the wall and then you had yourself a nail gun. But that's not how it works. Well, we now have a nail gun that is battery powered, so. Yeah, so we ended up going with a Roby. Ryobi. Ryobi. We're a Ryobi family now. Yeah, and it's a nail gun that is battery operated, so we don't need that giant compression thing. But I have no idea. I don't. I don't get it. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna go home, feed Bryson, and tackle this wall. And Z needs to learn how to use the miter saw. That's our next the miter tackle. Saw, the miter saw. Yeah. yeah. But we can do the horizontal ones first, which will give us a little hit of dopamine. That way when we do the vertical ones and we start learning the miter saw and cutting it, we won't be completely devastated if we don't get it right away because that would be just very frustrating. Mm. All right guys, we are ready to build the wall. The shelf is gonna come up to here. So what we're gonna do first is do the two horizontal bars because we don't need to cut those. We're gonna glue them with this construction adhesive glue and then we're gonna nail gun the boards into the wall. So this is gonna be the horizontal board that's gonna go on the top. And then this smaller one is gonna be kind of layered like this. So it'll basically act as like a little shelf. And it's a little thinner than this one, but it's the same size as the wall paneling going vertical wise. So that's the first step. Are you having fun with all the tape? And we're gonna use this leveler to make sure that the boards are straight. Um, and then I also found this. So this is a wall stud finder. If there's any studs in the wall, like I guess it tells you. You just put it on the wall like this and it'll tell you if there's a stud. So we know not to nail into the stud. So I'm gonna just basically move it. <gasps> there's your stud. So I need to put on my working boots for this job. Xander got me these for Christmas. I put them on when I'm doing my home projects. I love them. Look, they even got a little fur action. Super duper cute and very durable. Z just got me this outfit. It's the free people dupe. dupe. It's a dupe. But he also got me the boots, the working boots. So now I have a whole fit for my home renovation projects. And then we decided very last minute last night that we're gonna do this wall. So we went to church this morning and then right after I went to Home Depot and we got all the boards that we need and paint today. So round two. In order to do this wall, it's a different length than this one. If you guys remember me trying to figure out the measurements, it was like, what? So there's actually a calculator that I found online for this board 
and batten walls specifically i will link it down below if you guys want to do this with your wall you just plug in how many inches your wall is how many boards you want and then it'll give you like how much space in between each board and again fortunately we have an outlet here but it doesn't touch the outlet so we don't have to worry about that but yeah it made life a whole lot easier so we're essentially going to do seven boards on this wall we have 10 over here and then there's going to be 8.9 inches in between whereas this one's going to be 10 but i don't think like it's gonna make much of a difference when you're looking at it at eye level. So yeah, just thing to tell you guys, if you if you wanna do this wall, there's a calculator and it makes life a whole lot easier. Okay guys, here is the final wall. We are probably also gonna end up doing this today. Just imagine all of these being paneled up. But it turned out amazing. The color is perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. We've got the shelf. I'm very pleased with it. It looks really, 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 really good. I was originally gonna change up the lights, but I feel like the black actually looks really good against the dark green. So yeah, this is a... Uh, the board and batten wall. The wall is complete. It looks so good and it's such an easy thing to do. You actually don't technically need the miter saw. If you go to Home Depot and get your measurements like beforehand, they will cut it for you. So technically all you need is like the trim board. You do need a nail gun. I mean, I think you can probably do it with a nail and hammer, but the nail gun was really easy. I'll link everything that you need and that I use down below, including the miter saw, but that is not a necessity. It's not an expensive project. I mean, it requires a lot of time, um, but it's such a like small thing that you can do that makes such a drastic change. Like, I love it. Xander's gonna build that little side piece right now, um, and then we'll have like the whole entire wall done and it looks so good and the shelf is just an added touch that I can add like little trinkets and like picture frames eventually but this is just part one of a very dramatic change that we're gonna do for the master like we still have to do the flooring we're gonna do some curtains we're gonna probably repaint the whole entire room again but I'm just taking things like kind of I said very slow but like relatively slow um for my pace and watching it all unfold is just so exciting and so rewarding and it's so cool to be able to do it on your own and like once we build this home and we start getting furnishing in and like rooms are pieced together and they're complete and like it's just gonna be such a cool thing to be like oh my god we built that and i was even telling xander yesterday that outfit that he gave me like the little splotches of paint, like each one will have a story like, oh, that's when I did the wall and that's when I painted the bedroom. And I don't know, it's just really fun and rewarding. I love home projects. Like it's just such a peaceful thing because I'm such a homebody. So like creating a really cozy space for each room just gives me so much peace. Like I, I'm so in love. And I think there's renter friendly options too if you're in like an apartment. I know there's a video that's a renter friendly one that I'll link down below too. Um, it's less expensive than this and this is not an expensive project. Like I said, it makes such a drastic change. So <clears throat> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I actually have to go to the, <laughs> the urgent care center. I have an appointment in like an hour. I got bit by a spider and it's like pussing and it's really gross and updates to come. But um, other than that, I'm sorry the video's <laughs> late. I hope it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Measuring tape and nap time maybe monitor. I'm ready. <laughs> You're gonna build that one? Yeah, that little tiny one that we missed? Yeah.